Hi there, Virgo. Welcome to June, and uh, I hope you're having a good start to your summer. We're going to do your three card reading. So, first, going to burn the sage and cleansing the cards. I hope last month's reading was helpful for you, and um, I'm always open to feedback, so you can message me below the videos that you see. We're just shuffling now for Virgo, for June, Virgo, for June, Virgo, June. Here we go. Your first card is King of Wands. Second card is third card prince of swords oh boy so we have two very different men and we have the hierophant which could be a man or an or an advisor the hierophant can be like uh in the old days a pope priest now it could be you know your yoga guru it could be your Life coach, it could be anyone who's a mentor figure that you're learning from. Or the Hierophant can simply mean to, you know, to, uh, to reflect, to study, to read, to seek wise counsel. Now, you got two men here who are very different, which I, who I imagine are probably at odds. So just listen carefully. You might be one or the other of the men, even if you're a woman. It could still work that way. Or you might be in the middle of these two or know one of them closely. So the scenario is that there's one who's older, he's more dynamic, he's got more of a temper, he, he knows how to get things done, he's impatient, he expects people to, um, you know, to step up and pull their weight and not have to be told every two minutes what they need to do. He, um, he's got big goals, he's ambitious. And he knows how to fulfill whatever it is that he's thinking of. The Prince of Swords is the opposite. He's clever. He's 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 a smarty pants. He's clever. He might be a bit geeky even. Um, but he's very scattered. He he's not going to follow through on almost anything. He's uh, he's got a million and one dreams and plans, and I'm going to do this one day. He's going through his mind and his lips. And he might seem to talk a good game, and he's very charming at it, but um, he doesn't follow through. And um, he's not very good at at uh, incorporating any kind of emotion into it, whether it's his or anyone else's. The King of Wands might seem to be bad at emotion, but he's wise enough to understand that that plays into everything. But he just knows how to overcome it. Uh, you know, let's say a bad mood or a, a f apathy or not feeling like it. Uh, he'll know how to overcome that in himself and get to work. The Prince of Swords will just get distracted and go somewhere else or start something new and abandon ship. So these two are at odds because they can't really work well together. One doesn't understand the other. One thinks the other one's controlling the other. So if this is sounding familiar between any two people that you know or one of them could be you. Um, they both almost need to pull back and they almost need a mediator. They need somebody objective to find a solution because both seem to be going further and further without the communication to make it better. I think they need outside help and that could be a teacher, a counselor, um, a psychologist, a life coach, a good friend who knows both of them. And they need to sit down and sort of peace talk this through and compromise. Otherwise, they won't be able to work together. And if that means, if this is in a relationship sense of family, then it would be, it would mean that it's going to be hard. It's going to be not very workable until the, until they both sort of compromise and calm down. If it's a work thing, well, it probably won't last. Whoever's in power might tell, might just um, get rid of the other one or push them out the door or put pressure on them to do so. Um, 
and it doesn't really feel like it's love related to be honest with you but it could be related to someone that you love where this is going on with their life and if, if it's not yours the general feeling I get for you Virgo for June is to sort of lay low if, if this isn't you you might be the one who's the hierophant who's in that role of mediator which as Virgos you know you often are so really be a detach like be an objective detached mediator don't get too worried or analyze their situation or or uh, take sides if you can and encourage both to get some sort of outside help so this tells me that you're you're gonna be in and around this on some level it's gonna be hard to just walk away or from from it so the advice of of how to handle it is that it's um be be reflective be the one you know people can come talk to you listen give wise minimal counsel encourage people to find outside help not dump on you and not vent and bitch and moan and everything too much because there's these two people are at an impasse it needs a third party well that was quite specific as a reading wasn't it so you let me know if that fits you or anybody close to you Virgo and uh, if you need a more personal reading for your own life anything in around it you give me a ring a ring what am I saying uh, you can message me under this video or you can find me at river-rain.com or clairvoyant medium Catherine Allen at Facebook I wish you a wonderful month good luck with that